Let's take a walk through the Lohmeyer Sculpture Park Art Fair for 2018. Maybe if we're lucky we can interview some of the artists that are exhibiting at this year's fair. Hi, my name is Paul Jazelskis. I've been making pots for about 30 years, and currently I work in porcelain, which I carve. Uh, we're here at the Lohmeyer Sculpture Park doing the art fair over Mother's Day weekend. I'm from Michigan City, Indiana, which is about an hour east of Chicago. You can find my work at stores around the country and at art fairs around the country. I really don't have an online web presence uh, because I really don't like packing and shipping. Hi, I'm Nick Nahira. I'm from Hillsboro, Missouri, just a little south of St. Louis. Uh, I mainly do large, large scale screen prints. They're all hand drawn and then screen printed after that. Where could they get your art? Do you have a website or anything? Yeah, I do have a website. It's kneehighprints.com. I'm Casey Bridges, uh, Studio Bridges. I do outdoor garden work, um, large scale uh, GFRC. It's a fiber reinforced cement with the intent of uh, sort of nestling in the garden and being outdoors year round. And do you have a website or anything? Yeah, we're uh, studiobridges.com. Yeah, and you're from where? Uh, Nevada City, California. All right. Brown from Antioch, Illinois, and I'm a lenticular printmaker. These are examples of some of my artwork. Many of them have two views in, so this picture of the hummingbird, go back about five feet, thank you. It has uh, two pictures in, and the viewer walks by, it goes from one to the other. So this is both the male hummingbird and the female hummingbird. This is typical of what I do. I have uh, bodies of work that include the change of season, so a picture could go from summer to winter. I have some that go from day to night, and then I have more kinetic pieces like a zooming train. Uh, some of the other work I do are three-dimensional photographs. They consist of between uh, 10 and 100 photographs, each from a different horizontal position, and those allow the viewer to see the scene in a complete 3D. Uh, do you have a website or anything? I do have a website, but nothing to look at. Uh, the website's my name, michaelbrown.com, and I list my show schedule. The art is best viewed in person. And, uh, where can they see it uh, other than uh, outdoor art fairs or galleries or anything? Right, if they go to that website, they'll see the show schedule. I do about 20 shows a year. I do have a gallery representation in Cape Cod and uh, Provincetown. Neil Brown here from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Been doing uh, photography for about uh, 25 years. Uh, some of my work over here is uh, 
medium format film negatives that I uh, printed on metal. This one's called Lunch in Paris, where the gargoyles buy ready to eat the Eiffel Tower. And the piece here is called uh, Astronomical Clock, taken in the old town area of Prague. Just uh, gotta have a lot of fun traveling and enjoy. Hi, my name is Timothy Wagner. I'm a mixed media artist from St. Louis, Missouri. I work with uh, reclaimed material. Everything is done either on wood or canvas. I incorporate animals into my work to uh, give the viewer a sense of uh, familiarity, spirituality. Uh, the work itself is all done with uh, recycled paper, decorative paper, I use a process that is called photo transfer. Uh, basically, I, t I take an image and I manipulate the image, and blow it up, and I use a variety of different gels and different mediums to uh, basically transfer the image directly onto the canvas. Uh, it's, it's definitely a unique process, and I work on everything from canvas, wood, vinyl, um, name it. I work on it. You know, uh, my website is tewagner.com. I'm from St. Louis. I'm available for commission work and shows, exhibits, teaching, etc. Right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kim Tagger with Tag Art uh, Original Extreme Graphite Drawings. And I say extreme because I use more than just pencil. Most people come in here and they go, wow, is this, is this pencil? And I'm thinking, no, it's more than pencil. I use graphite sticks. I use a makeup brush with loose graphite. I use uh, water-soluble graphite. And uh, I've been drawing since I was about five years old. And I've just recently uh, kind of emerged back in, uh, in fact 2017 was when I first started doing my graphite drawings. So uh, I'm very passionate about the Flint Hills and Kansas and rural scenes so that's kind of why a lot of my uh, art is uh, about rural scenes. So hoping to bring back memories of somebody's childhood maybe when they were with their grandma or uh, just kind of growing up on the farm. So uh, over here I have created a uh, kind of a what is extreme graphite because so many people ask me so here is a powdered graphite I use water soluble graphite I use chamois and like a smudgy sticks I use an eraser to bring out a lot of my clouds and I use a various uh, forms of pencils the blackest graphite pencil I have is called a 9XXB which is super black which you'll see in a lot of these really dark areas is the really black black pencil. I use an electric eraser, I use some charcoal, this this piece has charcoal in it to make it really rich and black and uh, and then I frame everything with my hand torn deckled edge and I use a floating mat and a floating frame so that's that's what I do yeah. My name is Peter Rujua from Zimbabwe. I'm a Shona Stone sculptor. Shona Stone sculptures are cultural art from Zimbabwe, named after my tribe, Shona of Zimbabwe. My sculptures are, are out of serpentine stone, which is found in Zimbabwe too. Uh, serpentine is like soapstone, but it's harder, harder than soapstone, because it contains iron. And it's a four to five on the more scale of hardness, 
What I soft on is one to two, ten being diamond. Uh, my tools include the regular chisels, files, and uh, polishing is wet sanding. These sculptures can be indoors or outdoors. Do you have a web page or? Unique Rock Art. Dot com. I'm a local artist here in St. Louis. I live in Wildwood. I currently am working on a water collection. I do oil paintings and I have an interest in doing swimming portraits of kids. Mostly they're of my own children, but I do have commission spots available. And you can find me on Instagram at Annie Flynn one and I also have an Etsy shop at Annie Flynn one I'm Molly Chenard, uh, mollychenard.com, and I'm a surreal um, painter. I'm a conceptual surrealist. So, for example, here's a piece called Breadwinner. So it's Wonder Woman, Wonder Bread, Breadwinner. There's a little gentleman waiting at the door with uh, dinner and roses because after you save the world, the last thing you want to do is argue about what's for dinner. So each one of my um, pieces has a different story or different concept behind it, and so everything is sort of about um, something I'm trying to convey. So if you get that aha moment, that's what you're supposed to. Uh -huh.